All right, we are gonna do a versus video between the brand new Flex Impact Driver versus the Milwaukee Impact Driver. Now, as you can see, there is a bit of a size difference when it comes to the battery and the tool. The Milwaukee is a lot more compact than the Flex is, but we are actually gonna test out power in this video. All right, so make sure you guys watch to the end because we are gonna do a 10 inch lag with a six amp hour battery because people are saying that the six amp hour battery puts out more power than the eight amp hour battery to see if the eight amp hour battery actually puts out less power than the six amp hour. So stay tuned for that and please watch to the end. All right, so both eight amp hour batteries, like I said, we will do one test with the six amp hour battery at the end of the video. Battery on the Flex is full. Battery on the Milwaukee is full. All right, both of them have three speed settings. And so I'll put the specs in as the tool works. The model number for the Flex is FX1371A. And the model number for the Milwaukee is 2853-20. I'm not gonna waste any time on this video. We're just gonna do the hardcore stuff, which we're gonna do a four inch lag, six inch lag, 10 inch lag and a 5 eighths by 8 inch lag. All right, so ready, go. I think that's time. A smidge more. Time. It's a, a fresh piece of uh, lumber. Yeah, this is gonna, these two, I, I specifically waited for this lumber to be used for these tools because this is gonna be a hard task. Look what it had to do to get that four inch in. Let's see which one it could, we'll see which one uh, starts to fail first. Oh, sorry, it's on speed three. Ready, go. I think that's time. Yep, that's time. I'll get my blower for this. <coughs> Just to show you guys, yeah, that Milwaukee did seem to have an uh, easy time with that four inch. But next, let's do the six inch. I'm hoping my uh, brand new Makita adapter, hopefully it survives. Oh, sorry, we gotta take those out. Oh, let's take it out. Ready, go. Sorry, ready, go. All right, it's having trouble. I'm gonna give, I don't want this adapter to break, so I'm gonna give it a few more seconds to, to chill. Let's continue. Time. It did it though. I am not gonna fail that. I'm not gonna fail that. All right, let's have Milwaukee take this out. Ready, go. Not gonna fail that either. All right, I'm gonna give that, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna give that a second to chill. Let's take it out. There we go. Time. Yeah, this wood is, yeah, this wood is a good test, the perfect wood for this. All right, so next let's do a six inch lag. Darn it. I knew that was gonna break. Adapter number two. All right, let's uh, finish this. That's as far as that'll go. Are you serious? And for the first time ever, I broke a lag. Snapped the head, snapped it right in half. There we go. Snap the lag right in half. 
but obviously the log I'm using right here is a bit too intense. So let's uh, go to an easier log. All right, you guys, so let's start this over. Let's uh, do the flex first. Battery is full on the flex. Just recharge them. Battery is full on the Milwaukee. Speed three. There is no turbo button on that. Ready? Go. Time. That's quick. That is quick. Let's bring it up a tad. Do it right here. Ready? Go. Time. Time. So both of the both of them are quick. Both of them are quick. All right, let's take out flexes. Ready? Go. Time. All right, let's take out Milwaukee's. I do not know what the test results are until I edit the video. Ready? Go. Time. God, they're both quick. All right, next, let's do, uh, I think, I forgot what size this is, 5 sixteenths by 8 inch legs, I think, galvanized. And yes, I do want to do a speed board test as well. We'll do that at the end of the video. Ready? Go. Time. Time, time, time. Ready? Go. Time. We are using Makita half inch adapter. Ready? Go. Now I still I still say what I did. I'll put the video right here. I still say that uh, all impact drivers should adopt the Bosch's Freak Anvil. Ready? Go. Time. Ready? Go. Time. It went through the bottom about an inch, so that means that the Milwaukee will be doing the same thing. Right here is good for the Milwaukee. All right, so ready? Go. I went way too deep on that. Hope I can get that out. I'm not sure if you guys can see that right here. A little bit too deep. So I hope I can, I might have to dig it out. All right, I got it. All right, that's flush. Like I said, I do not know what the timing is until I edit the video. All right, let's take flexes out. Ready? Go. Time. Guys, like, yeah, like this 10 inch lag is a very hard task. It's a very hard task. Ready? Go. Time. All right, and just to please you guys, I'm gonna do a six inch, uh, six amp hour battery with the Milwaukee. Because after I do this, we're gonna do a speed bore and see how well that goes. All right, so ready, go.
Oh, I drove that all the way through. I, have to, I gotta dig that one out now. Son of a gun. I might be able to, might be able to get some grip on it. Yes, I did. All right, so let's take that out. Ready? Go. Time. Now, in my honest opinion, uh, how I feel, I feel that the 8 amp hour did drive it in faster than the 6 amp hour. I might be wrong, but the numbers are there. And that's just how I feel before I edit the video. Now let's uh, drive in a one and a quarter inch speed bore and see on how well these do against each other. The battery is still full. Right here is good. Ready? Go. That was time. Right here is good. Speed three, battery is still full. A little bit more actually. Ready, go. Yeah, I knew it. I knew that was going to slip. I was waiting for that. I was waiting for both of them to slip actually, but I knew the Milwaukee was going to slip because they did fix that. They did fix that. They made a, uh, I think it was a 3.5 or a 2.5 version of the Gen, the Gen 3.5, I think is the one that they fixed or Gen 2.5. I forgot which one, but yeah, I knew that was going to slip though. That is the issue that they are having. When it comes to this, because it, this only has one ball bearing inside instead of two. So if it's spinning really fast in reverse with a lot of force keeping it down and force lifting it up, uh, that ball slips out of place and it goes over the actual design of the bit. This is not the, the fixed version, so I knew that was going to happen. All right, you guys, so when it comes to these two, it's th honestly, this one's too close to tell, but you guys got, I, I will admit that this is a powerful tool for the first generation of the Flex line. Comes to versing these two, yes, the Flex is a lot bigger, the batteries are a lot bigger, it's 24 volt versus 18 volt, but for their first generation, it's not bad at all. All right, so Milwaukee, uh, Milwaukee made their impact driver smaller and smaller and smaller with great power. Flex might do the same in the future. Like they might, they actually might make a compact impact driver that has the same power as this. So, but when it comes to the temperature, 109. If you guys can see that, 109 for the Flex and for the Milwaukee, 109. So they they ran both the same. We didn't go through self tapping modes on this. This is just a, this was a versus video of power, and so yeah. Uh, the the reality is that this was too close to tell. Uh, I th this wasn't a blowout. So like they they actually had some good competition. I but you guys know what the re results are already. Just let you guys know, I did, never hated Flex. The only thing that I hated that they did is they told people the fastest, most powerful hammer drill on the market without showing us, without showing us. You know, like they, they should have they should have done their test differently in their promo video because like they should have run the eight amp hour battery on, the, on all, all their tools. Show what these tools can do with the powerful tools and also run the powerful batteries on the competitors tools, which is Milwaukee throughout the entire promo video. And so that's what they, that's what they needed to do because both of these tools are very powerful, very powerful. And yeah, like I said, one is a lot bigger than the other, but the power is still there. So that's pretty much it. You guys, more videos coming. I got more Bosch tools, more Hilti tools. And, uh, I, I'm excited about testing the Hilti, brushed i think it's brushed the hilti brushed four speed drill so yeah so th that's pretty much it you guys i hope you found this video helpful and entertaining please like this video please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel this is dave nicholas thank you for tuning in and i'll see you guys next time <music>